Okay, this is chapter nine of the Community ATI, Continuity of Care. Community health nurses play a large role in maintaining continuity of care for clients as they transition from acute to outpatient settings. The increase in prevalence of chronic disease means that an increased number of clients will transition into and out of acute settings and require support from community agencies to address medical, financial, and personal needs. Community health nurses use technology to maintain continuity of care. Community partnerships are essential to improving and maintaining healthy communities. Community health nurses should facilitate the development of partnerships within the community. These partnerships are important in the attainment of collaborative health outcomes. Examples of partnering entities, individuals, families, community agencies, civic organizations, political offices, faith-based organizations. Characteristics of successful partnerships, shared power, shared goals, integrity, flexibility, and negotiation. Referrals, discharge planning, and case management. A continuum of care assists in coordinating and providing individualized health care services without disruption. The nurse can follow the client from one level of care to the next to ease the client's transition. Community health nurses facilitate continuity of care through case management services. These services include focused supervision for individualized care, follow-up, and referrals to appropriate resources. The establishment of an ongoing relationship between an individual and a healthcare provider leads to improved health outcomes. Consultations. A consultant is someone who has specialized knowledge and provides expert advice, services, or information. And nursing actions. Initiate necessary con- consults or notify the provider of the client's needs so the provider can initiate a consult. Seek expertise of the other nurses, such as specialty nurses or advanced practice nurses, Incorporate recommendations from a consultant into the client's care plan or program planning for the community. Referrals. Referrals for individuals in an acute care setting typically are based on the medical diagnosis or other relevant clinical information. Resources assist in restoring, maintaining, or promoting health. The nurse assists in linking the client with community resources and must have knowledge of individuals and resources and organizations that can serve as resources. The nurse should also use knowledge of types of assistance the client will accept based on client's personal beliefs and values. The nurse educates clients about community resources and self-care measures. Barriers to the referral process. Lack of motivation, inadequate information about community resources, finances, cultural factors. Steps in the referral process. Engage in the working relationship with the client. Establishing criteria for the referral. Exploring resources accepting the client's decision to use given resource. Follow-up considerations. Monitor for completion of the referral. Assess whether referral outcomes were met. Discharge planning. Discharge planning is an essential component of the continuum of care and is an ongoing assessment that anticipates the future needs of the client. Discharge planning requires ongoing communication between the client, nurse, providers, family, and other members of the interprofessional team. The goal of the discharge planning is to enhance the well-being of the client by establishing appropriate options for meeting the health care needs of the client. Discharge planning begins at admission. Case management. Case management nursing is an indicated for a variety of health care settings and includes the following. Promoting interprofessional services and increased family involvement. Decreasing costs by improving client outcomes. Collaboration between clients, family members, community resources, payer sources, and health care professionals. Case management nurses can face ethical dilemmas as they work with consumers and providers to determine the best course of action. Case managers are at risk for liability related to five main areas, care management, referrals, experimental treatments, confidentiality, fraud and abuse. The nurse uses the nursing process during case management to help the client obtain important services and to treat their condition. Use of community agencies contains costs because the monitoring of clients leads to better disease management. Technology and community nursing. Technological advances have led to drastic changes in the delivery of healthcare. The availability of new technologies results in the disruption of old delivery methods while simultaneously creating new opportunities. Some types of technology can assist with cost control. The nurse should compare the expense of new technology to potential cost saving prior to implementation. Nurses must remain informed of new technologies in order to deliver optimal care. Informatics is the combination of nursing science with information and communication technologies in the delivery of nursing care. Electronic health records 
or EMR, databases and billing are commonly used within the current healthcare industry. Handheld computers and smartphones, geographic information systems, and the internet all play a role in the delivery of healthcare. Interprofessional teams and clients can hold meetings electronically. Nurses can use chat rooms and asynchronous discussions as alternate delivery methods for client health education. Telehealth. Telehealth is the delivery of quality care through the use of technology. Telehealth is particularly useful in rural areas. The ability to deliver specialized skilled nursing through communication systems that transfer information easily between providers improves access to health care. Home care services are increasingly use, using telehealth technologies in the delivery of client care. Emerging technologies allows nurses to provide care to clients at home while working from central locations such as an office or health care agency. Agencies transmitting or storing electronic health data must take measures to ensure confidentiality and security of client information. Other uses for technology. Nurses and the interprofessional team can use technology as an outreach tool to educate the public. For example, public service announcement about intimate partner violence have been used to prevent a violence and connect community members with uh, appropriate resources. Electronic record keeping is widely used in public health to create client clinical records, document services provided, and maintain financial records, and for creating and managing organizational plans. Partnership with legislative bodies. Decisions and actions made by legislative bodies can have profound effects on health. Health policy specifically addresses health issues within public policy. To facilitate needed change, it is important for nurses to stay informed of current policy and laws that influence both the health and the community and nursing practice. Nurses also should advocate for policies that protect health care, public health, and other solutions of, to community problems. Nurses can influence individuals who develop policies through professional communication and present evidence-based solutions to address significant health problems, decrease health disparities, and ensure equitable distribution of resources. Nurses, nurses' role in health policy. Change agents. Advocate for needed change at the local, state, or federal level. Lobbyists persuade or influence legislators. Individuals or professional nursing associations can participate in the lobbying process. Coalitions, facilitation of goals, achievements through the collaboration of two or more groups, and public office serve society and advocate for change by influencing policy development through public service.